Shalom Alechem. Ich heiße an. Das ist mein Hund Jesse. Ich hab lieb Hund. <laughs> the Workmen's Circle has created this new program called Yiddish for Dogs to connect members of the people slash dog community with our Yiddish heritage and traditions. And Yiddish is something a lot of people love and also just makes people happy. So why not see if there's a way to conjoin the two? And Yiddish for Dogs was born. Come, come. <laughs> Zitz. Zitz. It's really very celebratory. It's kind of like having um, a party in Central Park in the morning. Glad you guys are here. Thanks. People are excited to get started and introduce themselves. There's a lot of mingling, schmoozing, as we say, which, you know, is again one of those Yiddish words that have made their way into the English lexicon. We nash. For the dogs, we bake apple kichel, which is apple cookies. So, shalom alechem. Alechem shalom. So it's so exciting to see all of you. This is literally a dream for me come true. And I hope this is, you know, the beginning of your Yiddish kite journey for you. If you don't have a dog with you, just We meet with a master trainer who takes us through a series of um, commands. So the first command we're going to go over today is the sit command. Uh, Adrian? So sit, we're going to say zit with a, a Z and a TS at the end. Zit. Zitz. Zitz. Right. Zitz. And give them the positive marker, Boots. I, I noticed that the new people come in and they're a little bit uh, apprehensive and thinking Yiddish for dogs, that's kind of ridiculous. Zitz, good. But when they actually practice it, I do find the dogs pick up Yiddish a lot faster than English because uh, the vocabulary in Yiddish is a lot sharper than uh, the English language. Zitz, Zitz. I'm not fluent in Yiddish. My mother's generation was the last generation to be fluent. But maybe Rosie will change that. So this works. This program works on a number of levels. Because there's this enormous um, connection that people have to their dogs, and they have time on their hands because they're with their dogs every morning. And if you can combine them being with their dogs with another passion, in this case Yiddish. Good girl. I think it's a success story in itself. <laughs> it, for sure, like meant to be, is that meant to be? For sure. <laughs> See, I'm learning already. Yeah. It starts with just talking to your dogs in Yiddish and speaking to a loved one, saying a few cute words or a few nasty words, as it may be. Voice mind the coil. Yeah. <laughs> that means dodge the bullet. But then it also becomes asserting your identity and saying, no, I'm part of something that was very important, that has changed the way people think and the way people live. All right. Good hunt. That's a good hunt. I've always loved dogs. Um, my family always considered our family dog a member of the family. OK, come, come. I finally took the plunge and got my own dog um, after having gone through a pretty traumatic experience in my life. I was in my early 40s. I was diagnosed with breast cancer, and I was lucky enough to come out of it whole um, and, and healed. So I felt a great need to do something important and fun and celebratory in my life. And I went on a website, and I saw a picture of Jesse. And I fell in love with him. So in, in a sense, he helped me heal socially. He helped me transition from feeling like I was a cancer survivor with like cancer sort of on my forehead to understanding like, no, I'm Jesse's person. Every time you take a step back, you're going to remind them to yeah. stay. 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 Good boy. It gradually became me helping other people, which is very much a part of the dog story in New York. When you have a dog, People who kind of need that moment with an animal will stop you, and I feel like it's so special that Jesse and I can connect with people like that every day. It was fun to be in the park with the dogs and kind of have that Yiddish slant. It's, a, it's, a, it's kind of a great New York event. Stay, stay, boom, boom. So the intent of the Workman Circle is to keep running Yiddish for dogs. Very good. As long as people want this doorway, we're delighted to hold it. <laughs> okay. And we're certainly up to the challenge. We have anywhere from 15 to 20 
wolf dogs or northern breed dogs, some of them have wolf in them, some are mislabeled as wolf. They're not confrontational, they just want to be left alone, they're, they're very loving, but movies don't want to portray that because that doesn't sell. Thank you.